Hello everyone. I am Sanjay Gupta. Welcome to Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this module, I am going to demonstrate how to implement scheduled Apex along with its test class. Let's understand the scenario for which I am going to implement schedule Apex. So the scenario is create a remainder task on opportunity where opportunity is open and close date is less than today. And we need to ensure proper code coverage as well. So let's implement this scenario with the help of schedule Apex. So here you can see I have already created one class known as opportunity reminder and it is implementing schedulable interface. So whenever you want to implement any uh, class and you want to schedule that, so you need to implement this uh, schedulable interface. Now I'm going to implement the code so that uh, you understand how it will work. So in this scheduled Apex, you need to implement execute method. And here you need to pass schedulable context. And inside this method, I'm going to vary the data. So I am creating list of opportunity. Now here I am going to apply SOQL. So select ID, stage name, close date from opportunity where is closed equals to false. So is closed means opportunity if opportunity is closed then is closed will be true otherwise its value will be false let me just copy and refresh it so this is our first part of the condition if is closed is false it means opportunity is open and close date is less than today so if these two conditions are matching, only those opportunities will be queried and they will be available into OPP list. Now I'm going to create a list of tasks. So naming it as task list. Now I'm going to check this OPP list if it is not empty then I'm going to iterate a loop on this opportunity list. So opportunity OPP and I'm iterating on OPP list. So here I'm going to create a task. Now we need to populate some fields of this task instance. So I am just filling those. So task dot subject equals to, let's say, Reminder task, sorry, TSK dot status equals to open TSK dot priority equals to normal TSK dot what ID equals to OPP dot ID. So oh, what ID means like uh, with which record this task will be related. So it will be related with opportunity. So that's why I am assigning opp.id and task.ownerid. So who will be the owner of this task? So I am assigning opp.ownerid. And uh, now I am adding this task record into the task list. So this way for each opportunity task record will be created. And after completion of this, I'm just checking if task list is not empty, then insert task list. So this way our task will be created. So I'm going to save this so that uh, we can execute it. Right, so if you want to execute this, so you need to write some code in the anonymous window. Okay. 
So I created instance of this OPP reminder class. Now I'm going to create a Chrome expression so that I can schedule it. So basically uh, to understand this Chrome expression, you can go with this comment. So here seconds, minutes, hours, day of month, then month, day of week, and optional year. So these this way, this, these values are populated. Now, in job ID equals to system dot schedule. Let's say create task, then schedule, and then instance of that reminder class. So if you if you execute these three statements, so your uh, class will be scheduled automatically and it will start execution, right? So I'm just going to show you Apex jobs. So I'm refreshing it. So here you can see there is no uh, scheduled Apex uh, at top. It is uh, already queued, which is for any other class. So now I'm going to execute this. I'm going to refresh it. So you will see schedule Apex will be uh, queued here, right? So uh, at that specified time, it will start execution, which is uh, available here. So this way you can create your schedulable Apex class with the help of schedulable interface. And you need to implement execute method and there you can write the code. Now it's time to implement its test class so that uh, we can make sure the code coverage is 100%. So I'm going to create new Apex class, naming it as opportunity reminder test. So first of all, I'm going to create a Chrome expression. So public static string Chrome expression equals to So this is the Chrome expression. So I'm just cutting it and putting it here. Then I'm defining the method. Now inside this method, I need to create data. So I'm creating list of opportunity. I'm going to iterate a loop. So it will start from one. It will repeat five times so that five opportunities will be created. So opportunity OPP equals to new opportunity. OPP dot name equals to OPP test plus i opp dot stage equals to prospecting opp dot close date equals to so now we need to uh, put close date less than today so i am just using date dot today dot add days minus seven right so close date will be seven days prior from today. And uh, now I'm going to add this opportunity into the opportunity list. So after completion of this loop, I can just insert this OPP list. So these records will be inserted. Now I just need to uh, fetch the IDs of this OPP list. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a set of ID. 
pp id equals to new set of id now i am just iterating on this opportunity list and here opp id dot add opp dot id so this way opportunity ids set will be created now test dot start test test dot stop test now in between these two lines i am going to schedule the job so string job id equals to system dot schedule create task then here i need to pass the clone expression so i am copying it and pasting and then i need to pass the instance of that opp reminder class so i am just using new opp reminder so its instance will be created and it will be passed into this method now after this so it will be executed now after this i need to verify whether task created or not so i will be creating related i will be querying all the related task so we created five opportunities so five task will be created so i will be matching that quantity so for that i am going to query the data okay so i am just creating list of task then applying soql select id from task where what id in opp ids so here if you see uh, in what id we set opportunity id so i am uh, checking uh, if task what id is in this set so those task will be queried and now i can apply system dot assert equals so it should be equals to 5 so task list dot size should be equals to 5 if it is equals to 5 it means five task will be created for these five opportunities so now i am saving this code opening this block and clicking on test now i am clicking on run test so this test class is executing and uh, it failed so let me check okay so this apex job name create task is already scheduled for execution so basically when we executed it so it is already scheduled that's why it is showing the error so what you need to do uh, you just need to use this code so that you can abort uh, the queued uh, scheduled apex so here i just queried all the uh, cron trigger jobs so those will be aborted right but uh in reality you won't be aborting all so for demonstration purpose i just aborted all so that uh, we can run this test class right but uh, you can search or you can google it like how to uh, abort any specific uh, scheduled apex right so that is aborted now let me just run this test again it is again failing so let me just check what is the error now okay so Okay, so we just uh, queried without owner ID. Okay, so basically what we are doing in this class, we are using opp dot owner ID, and that owner ID I didn't query. So I just need to query it here. So I am saving this class. Now I am going to run this test class again. So. you can see this time it is executing successfully there is no error so this assert is passing and if i go here and click on this so you can see 100% code coverage is there 
so this way with the help of this test class i hope you understood how we can cover scheduled apex with the help of uh, test class thank you